please don't watch The Boys wrong. The, the Boys is back for another season, which I'm always happy for. But The Boys is a special show, not because of its gore, or because of its writing, or because everyone on the cast happens to be really good looking. It's because every time a new season comes out, it's like some people just magically forget how to watch a show like The Boys. Like they go in thinking, yeah, this is about superheroes and why Marvel and DC suck. Which, if you think that's the point of the show, fine. I'm not gonna go to your house and be like, oh my god, how? How could she possibly watch it like that? But, there are some things I am willing to beg for when it comes to watching The Boys. By the way, when I say The Boys, I'm talking about the Amazon show, not you and your friends who get hyped up after your once a year party invite and go like, Dude, I promise you, I'll, t I'll talk to a girl this time. I, I promise you, bro. By the way, these glasses are fake. I'm just hoping you'll pay attention more if I wear these. So. Anyway, step one. Let's see. Don't watch this with your fuck your family what? are you fucking crazy unless your parents threaten you with the fact that they'll leave you out of their will unless you watch the show with them fucking don't or even worse don't watch this with your kids just because there's capes and superpowers i just saw a scene where a chain of dudes were eating each other's asses in human centipede form what kind of fucked up values are you trying to instill in your kid over here listen son of course your mother and i care about your grades but you know what it's not the end of the world all that matters is that you are kind, you are hardworking, and you learn how to drive that tongue deep in that ass. <laughs> I remember when it was controversial to watch Game of Thrones with your family. Dude, forget incest, grandma over here is about to see a pea-sized man dive into a dickhole. And especially don't watch the show with them if your family's hardcore religious or whatever. If your mum thought that lady at your local Target the other day was showing too much leg, and you plan to watch this with her, have a set of defibrillators nearby with the ambulance on speed dial. Step two, don't read the original comic. Make that an exclamation point because I want to emphasize that one. I know for comic adaptations for movies and TV shows, people usually go like, um, you should actually give the comic a try. It's actually way more in depth. You find a lot more about the characters. It's just so much better overall. Not this time. If you have some time to kill to read some comics, read something good like Invincible or Saga. I would say read a novel instead, but you know, we both know that's not happening with your illiterate ass. Listen, I've read a lot of comics throughout my lifetime and I don't think I made it past three issues of The Boys. I wouldn't go so far to call it garbage, but it's just so needlessly explicit and edgy for the sake of being edgy. I guess you can say the show is kind of like that, but the comics are just way over the top. The comic is good if you see a panel or two on Instagram while you're scrolling through and be like, whoa, the boys comic is actually pretty wild without having to put yourself through the torture of reading the comic. The boys comic is literally what would happen if you asked the 14 year old edgelord, hey, make the most edgy and most adult comic ever with superheroes in it. And if that's your thing, hey, who am I to judge? Just kidding, if I see you reading the boys comic, I will judge you harder than your dad when he sees you coming back home from your once a year party at 9pm. Step 3. Don't be one of those idiots who think that Homeland is genuinely right and innately relate to him. I don't know how to fucking write. I'll just- that's- that's home- that's Homelander? And- no wait. This is a fan. I don't know if you can fucking see that. That's a fan. Number one. Fan of Homelander. Don't. That's step three. Don't. And I'm not talking about those memes that are in the same family as those Ryan Gosling memes or the Batman memes, because whatever, those those are funny. I'm talking about the dumbasses who genuinely think that Homelander's a true hero of the show. Like, yes, he's in the right, but he's not in the right. Get what I mean? <laughs> I swear to God, these people will be like, yeah, I, I know he killed a bunch of civilians, but it doesn't mean he's a bad guy. He's just standing up for what he believes in. What the fuck? Of course he's the bad guy. He blackmails people with death. He kills people and he sees the entire human race as beneath him. Oh, that's not enough? Cool, you relate to a rapist. That's that's nice to hear. Thank you. I will, I will stay away from you. Actually, the real bad guy here is Vaughn and everything they stand for. Thanks, Socrates, you fucking dildo. Teach me something else that isn't obvious. And let me just say this. The worst thing you can do is verbally disagree with them because these guys are just waiting to defend themselves. These Homelander fans also usually have zero clue that they're the ones being made fun of in the show. So good luck having any sort of intellectual debate with them. Listen, step four, do not bring this up with girls thinking some great conversation started that will lead you to having three kids, a house, and a white picket fence with them. Obviously, I'm generalizing here, but The Boys is like the most boysy TV show of all time. Superheroes, swearing, violence, mental health issues. Most girls 
Not all. Most will not care for this show. Yes, it's like the number one show on Amazon or whatever, but you can't bring this up and expect them to know the show like it's The Office. Oh my god, guys, there's this really cute guy who just joined my work, and we've been talking a lot recently. Oh my god, so it's like a Jim and Pam thing? Oh my god, yes, that would be so slay. You guys might literally be the next Ross and Rachel. Stop. But that would be so cute, right? Yeah, you guys could be like the next Huey and Starlight. They're from a show called The Boys, while it may look like your average superhero show. Stop! Just stop! Jesus Christ! And I know someone's gonna say, what, so you're saying I shouldn't be myself? If yourself is someone who doesn't know how to read a room at a party with social adequacy, then yes, please don't be yourself. Step 5. Don't harass... Is it two hours or one? I don't know. Don't harass the actors. The fact that this needs to be said is fucking insane to me, but I guess that when a franchise grows big enough, it's bound to attract pieces of shit who do this all the time. I know some people know exactly where I'm going with this, but how do some people have the enough time in their lives to go on an Instagram post and make some fucking comment about how someone looks. Like it's different to think something or just to contribute to a conversation if it's brought up in real life, but to actually just type something and hit send, Hit the gym instead, fatty! By the way, it's baffling to me that people who comment on celebrities' posts are real fucking people. They're on the same level as people who spam W's in the chat on a live stream. Like, they simply can't be real. Oh, but they're like rich actors, who cares? Everyone on the planet uses social media. You don't think that these actors will just want to go on Instagram and just chill out for a minute? Oh, sorry, I'm sure you'd love to wake up to thousands of people agreeing that you look like a ghoul or a whale or whatever the fuck. I swear to God, MM's lack of beard was the only thing I noticed this season. I completely forgot about all the bullshit everyone else was complaining about. However, this step does not count if they're well known to be a shitty person in real life. Unless a shitty person. I swear my handwriting is really good. It's just that I'm writing on the fly. Don't blame me, okay? If they're well known to be a shitty person, fucking, I, I don't care. But to be fair, shitty person or not, I usually don't have the energy to fucking type up a comment on some celebrity's poster who has hundreds and thousands of followers. There you go, that's all the steps to watching The Boys. And you might be thinking, Andy, where are the actual steps to watching The Boys? I thought this was gonna be a tutorial. Don't tell me you expected some shit like, first of all, grab your friends. Second of all, microwave your popcorn. Third of all, turn on your- Bitch, you can watch it any way you like, I'm not your mum. So feel free to send this video to a friend who hasn't seen the boys, or send it to a friend who has seen the boys. Either way, they'll probably find this video really fucking useless. Alright, that's all I have for this week. Um, follow me on Instagram, check out my vlog channel, and my letterbox, and my music, and I'll see you next week. Goodbye. And one five in the open night, I can help that I feel so lonely. How many times do I have